Let's take a look at whether acetone is soluble or insoluble. We'll talk about water and we'll talk about nonpolar substances like oils. So acetone, you'll see the formula written a few ways. C3H6O, just count up all the atoms and that's what you'll get. And sometimes you'll see it written like this. And this shows that we have one, two of these CH3 groups. And then that CO, that right here is in the center. So either way, this might be a little more descriptive. This might be a little more compact. If we look at the 3D structure of acetone, this is what we get. So the question is whether acetone is soluble or insoluble. We're going to start out with water. If you look at the electronegativity values for the atoms here in acetone, that'll help us figure that out. So we see the difference between hydrogen and carbon. That's not very big, so we're not expecting much polarity there. But if you look at carbon and oxygen, it's almost one. There's almost a difference of one between the electronegativity values for carbon and oxygen. So we would expect this carbon and oxygen bond to be a polar bond. Let's look at this in three dimensions. So here's our acetone molecule. Whites are hydrogens, the gray, those are carbons, the red is the oxygen. We said the oxygen has a greater electronegativity value. So the electrons in this bond, these shared electrons, will spend more time with oxygen. It'll be more negative than the carbon here. If we look at the surface showing that difference in polarity, you can see the red is more negative, and then the bluish down here, that's more positive. So we do have a polar molecule because we have this negative and positive pole. Because of that, since water is also polar, acetone will be soluble in water. So what happens when we put acetone in a nonpolar substance, like an oil? So even though we have a very polar section, the red here and then this very blue area here, these methyl groups, these CH3 groups on either side, they're relatively nonpolar. That's the green. That means that they'll dissolve in a nonpolar substance. So acetone dissolves in both water and in nonpolar substances like oil. That's because it has a polar part and then these methyl groups are largely nonpolar. So in answer to our question, acetone, it's soluble in polar substances like water and in nonpolar substances like oils. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.